you guys are playing the warlock all wrong here let me show you how it's done this spell is power of sacrifice and if you don't know what it does well it gives you a huge strength boost at the cost of 3 hp per second for 12 seconds but to let you in on a little secret there's a little bug right now and it does not deplete your health it only depletes it once for 3 hp so for 3 hp you're getting a 15 strength boost i didn't make this video just to show you an exploit i wanted to show you a different playstyle to warlock instead of damaging spells let me show you my buff build power of sacrifice is the first spell i want to talk about i already showed you the exploit where this spell only takes three of your health for 15 strength but let me show you the stats with power of sacrifice you get a huge boost in health 15 strength equals 30 hp strength also gives you a power bonus with my falchion i did 56 damage with power of sacrifice i'm doing 64 that's eight more damage and if you continue to buff yourself with bloodstained blade then you're doing an extra 10 more damage add blow of corruption and it's an insta kill easy as that baby and this is what bloodstained blade does it just gives five more attack power to your weapon for 20 seconds the only downside is every swing takes three of your hp which i mean you're doing 10 more damage just one shot the guy there's also eldritch shield it protects against 40 magic damage for 15 seconds at the cost of 5 HP. It literally tanks a blow of corruption. And if the shield is destroyed, you get a damage boost to your dark spells for 4 seconds. Now let's get into perks and skills. For your first perk, you're going to want Torture Mastery. That's basically going to be your magical healing. Then you want Dark Reflection for a little bit more dark magic damage. For your third, I'd say get Will. I mean Malice, because Will's just good for your class and then Curse Mastery. For your skills, of course, Spell Memory, and then Blow of Corruption. Phantom Eyes is good, but I mean, Blow of Corruption, you could one-shot people. For spells, you kind of already got it. Power of Sacrifice, Bloodstained Blade, and Eldritch Shield. Also, Curse of Pain, that's, that's like a must. Come on now, that's common sense. Now, you will only have nine spell capacity, but um, we'll just have four of these up because you most likely will find some knowledge. For weapons, use the falchion and the lantern because they added a movement speed buff to all the light sources, which is just unnecessary and busted. For your casting, it could be literally anything. I'd say avoid the crystal ball because that's the biggest movement speed penalty. Magic staff is okay. The book is gonna do you better. Um, for healing, I'd say a potion of healing and literally two bandages. That's going to be it for my Warlock buff build. If you learned anything in the video, go ahead and drop your boy a like. If you want more content, subscribe because I'm thinking about doing a little series, hopefully sometime soon. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'm just going to let a couple little highlight reels play out for you. Alright then brothers, peace! Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll take your whole kit.